Peace and blessings, YouTube family. It's an honor and a pleasure again to come before you. Now, the name of this video, I had to entitle it, Only the Strong Survive. Only the Strong Survive. This is in relationship, of course, to semen retention because that's the number one attack that we're being used to attack us is by wasting our seed and with sex and all of this degenerate lifestyle. So only the strong survive means only the vanguards, only the true righteous, only the strong are going to master the low desires, master their sexual urges and appetite to the flesh in order to tap into the power that God has ordained us from birth and in the law of the universe and in nature. There's a law in the universe and in nature that we can connect to and tap into that will actually illuminate our beings and give us tremendous power. No power can a human being give that to you. Only the God of nature, the God in the universe gives that by his permission and by your submission to that God by righteous code of conduct. Semen retention has been taught on such a cheap basic level because I'm talking to so many of our people and brothers in particular and they have such they have the wrong idea of it so I want to just make this very clear when a man practice semen retention SR semen retention you are actually becoming more sexually attractive to the woman it makes you more sexually attractive to the female your counterpart or your potential wife that you may have what this society does, they degenerate sex to make you bow down to the worst of it, the misuse of it, waste your seed. So now you're sexually unattractive because you're not holding that seed in, allowing it to illuminate your being and redirecting it inward to empower your force, intelligence, wisdom, knowledge. Because that's what holding your seed in does. It gives you more intelligence, more power, more connection by God's permission. So that is why they promote it so strong, like we've discussed in the past. So it is not so cheap where guys just think it doesn't matter if I waste my seed or not. All I got to do is grow my hair along or do this or do that. Let me explain something, because I've heard brothers talk about that mention where you grow dreadlocks or grow an afro. And that is how you connect to the law of the universe. I've seen brothers who've said that. And I want to be I want to just leave you with this is that. When I spoke about the story of Sodom, I'm sorry, not Sodom and Gomorrah, Samson and Delilah. When I spoke on that story of Samson and Delilah, Samson, when his hair got cut, that's when he lost his power. Delilah was not his wife. Delilah was a woman that he was having an affair with. And that was not a righteous uh, arrangement between them two. Before Samson wasted his seed he was powerful he destroyed armies he was so strong and mighty once he had sex with delilah and wasted his seed in the story you remember the bible is in, written in poetic language it's really like poetic so they're not going to put it in this sense but this is what it said it actually is talking about when delilah cut his hair or cut off his power by allowing him to ejaculate or waste his seed then he became powerless and then the armies was able to take him. These are stories and parables. So the whole idea of Samson and Delilah is talking about refraining from sexual activity, refraining from wasting your seed. That's what that story is all about. Semen retention and the power that the man can tap into when he practices SR. It has nothing to do with how long your hair is. You can grow your hair as long as a football field. You can grow your afro as large as the, and the planet itself. But if you're wasting your seed and living wicked, then it doesn't matter. You're not permitted certain powers. It's by God's permission. Remember, we're created beings. We're not self-created. And it's by God's permission when you submit by living righteous and overcoming weaknesses, then you tap into those powers. Because if it was just your hair that you needed to grow, then you would be seeing that more promoted. They don't promote men cutting their hair. You don't see that in ads or on social media. You don't see that. You don't see them telling you to, you don't see that, they're not bombarding us with cutting our hair, but they're bombarding us with sex, with women shaking their ass all day on social media, all these pictures and, and all these images, like that is what they want to stir up, that urge. And that's what the Bible is talking about. It's talking about wasting your seed. It's not talking about your physical hair. That's spookism. 
And like we mentioned before, they have corrupted and watered down a lot of the scriptures, watered down a lot of knowledge. And if you don't do deeper study, then you'll get caught in those traps. Hair symbolizes. It's a symbol of, of traction. It's a symbol of nature. It's a symbol of power. But the semen is actually what gives you attraction. What holding your seed actually gives you power, actually connects you to nature. But they are not going to tell you that because they don't want you to truly tap into those powers. They're not going to tell you the truth. They want to keep us confused. And they've done a great job, no doubt, in keeping us confused with the real study of of uh, waste uh, of sex and misuse of it and wait, holding your seed. So that I wanted to clarify that because I've seen that by multiple of the brothers making videos on hair and or semen retention. And I just had to make that clear because we really don't understand how serious that is, man. I, I mean, brothers who, who know, who've practiced for long periods of time understand it is so it is literally a matter of life and death. Only the strong survive. If you do not build the strength to stop wasting your seed, stop watching these different videos and, and all these images that stimulates and titillates that desire, you will not make it. You will die and you will be taken off this planet. That is how serious it is because you know when you waste your seed, you feel tremendous grief. You feel tremendous stress, anxiety. It's like a burden on your shoulders because you're disobeying the law of God, the law of nature. You're deviating. That's what... Wasting your seed really is. It's deviation and it's wicked and it's death. That's what they want you to do. They want you to do that because then you're truly powerless. So it's been promoted on such a cheap level, you know, talking about SR, but it's really more important than we realize. And we got to stop making excuses about wasting our seed, talking about, oh, it's natural or the woman and man is natural. Yeah, but you're making excuses because what does that have to do with your self-control? What does women loving men and men loving women have to do with you having self-control and discipline and mastering this temple mastering this god body what does that have to do with you elevating and evolving spiritually see we make too many excuses and that's why we in the condition we in and that's why we're losing in society for the most part only the righteous are going to be the future controllers only the righteous are going to be the future rulers by God's permission. We can't give ourselves that authority, but Allah, God, will give those chosen few his, that authority to sit in the seat of rulership. But it takes tremendous sacrifice. It takes tremendous discipline. It don't start with SR. Semen retention is just a stepping stone to those principles, ever living principles in the universe. It starts there. It don't stop there because you can't just do that. And still have other wicked desires. You have to clean and purify all of the desires. But semen retention is one of the most powerful practices. Is because that's one of the more powerful. Outside of the appetite for food. Sex is the second most powerful urge of the human nature. So when you can master those two urges. The appetite for food and the appetite for sex. When you can master those two. You are truly on your way to being free. To being a ruler. To being a god. And... It's just that simple. It's not as difficult as we make it seem. But brothers have to build their strength. They have to build their will. Just like when you go work out, you build the muscle to continue to do more reps, to lift more weight, to go further in your workouts. You got to do the same thing spiritually. You got to challenge your spirit on a righteous level. It's easy to be wicked. It's easy to be degenerate. That's what this world is all about. Anybody can be wicked. Anybody is easy. It's easy to lie. It's easy to deceive it's easy to make that decision like oh, okay i'm just gonna eat sugary foods i'm just gonna eat bs i'm just gonna waste my seed i'm just that's the easy way out but see to resist the force of nature is, is what's difficult it's all about resisting satan it's all about resisting the satan of self which is the low desires of self satan is not a spooky character it's a part of our nature that we can bow to or overcome so resisting overeating is powerful. Resisting the urge for sex is powerful. Resisting telling lies. I'm not going to tell a lie. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't give a damn how convenient it is to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. Regardless of the consequences, I'm going to tell the truth. See, that takes fearlessness. That takes courage to look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to speak truth and have integrity no matter how bad I may feel because God is going to bless you for that and you're going to feel even better. But if you keep lying and deceiving yourself, not one, Lying to yourself and then lying to others, you're only increasing your chastisement and you're making it worse for yourself. And it's only a matter of time for you off this planet. So we got to start really activating and executing these principles and taking it serious because that's the time we're living in. It's all God today. 
This enemy, this government have no juice. They have no power. Really, they're riding the wave of y'all ignorance because they really don't have no power. They just banking on y'all staying asleep and not waking up to the reality. So they feel like as long as these people stay asleep, we good. But as soon as we wake up, they don't have any power because we know the truth. That's a weak rulership. So they don't have any power. They only have illusional so-called power with the ignorant because the righteous, those who are woke and working and, and do out here as vanguards, they don't have no power with us because we know the truth. We know what they're up to. We know what they're doing. They don't have any power with the righteous, just the wicked and the ignorant. So it's time for us to start cleaning it up and getting it together because this is really a matter of life and death. So a lot of brothers, once again, and I'm so honored and, and grateful to Almighty God. A lot of brothers have been reaching out. And from these SR videos that we've done on Broly Gaines channel and other channels, and they've been reaching out as uh, it's been inspiring a lot of brothers to start their SR journey. Um, and it's not going to be easy. Anything worth having is not going to be easy. That's why that urge is so powerful, because when you master it, dude, it'll be the best decision you ever made in your life. Once you master that sexual urge and lust to waste your seed, once you get that completely out of your mind and you just live righteous and don't focus on sex and low desires, you are truly on your way to being a great and human being. You're, you're on your way to greatness. That's when you're truly on your way to greatness. When they say, can you fly? When people talk about flying, like grow your wings and fly. That's when you fly, you're in an elevated place. That's an elevated state. So flying only means to elevate, to come up, to increase in knowledge, increase in power, increase in stature and success. The only way that will happen is if you ple it pleases God, number one. And if you master the things that are keeping you down, what's pulling you down. That's why they call them low desires because they're keeping you low, keeping you low frequency, low energy, low intelligence, low power. When you bow to low desires, that's why it ain't, we shouldn't be shocked that the people are in the condition that they're in in society on a low level because that's all they bow to is lowness. It's not their fault. Some people, you know, it is, but and some people it's not their fault because they just don't know. They've just been tricked and lied to for so many years that that's their reality. So they live in self-destructive and they're living calamity after calamity, being chastised nonstop. It's sad. Only those who become elevated and overcome the low desires and start to climb toward the higher self, the upper self of discipline, righteousness, sacrifice, overcoming the flesh and low desires, then you start to fly. Then you start to notice success. You don't look for success. It'll look, it'll find you. You don't. You, of course, you want to have a craft. You want to be productive, and you have to put in the work. Nothing's going to happen by osmosis. You definitely got to put in the work. But just by you overcoming the weaknesses of this wicked world and Satan's world, God is going to bless you, and you're going to tap into some tremendous success and power. That's the time we're living in, and the enemy knows that, so they're trying their best to keep you deceived. So it's time for us to wake up now and really start living righteous and not just talking about it and really being those instruments in this world. So it is always an honor to speak with you in truth and in wisdom. And I thank Almighty God for allowing me to be an instrument and a vessel for our people. And I'm going to continue to increase in this knowledge and in our ultimate liberation and salvation from our enemies. So thank you again, YouTube family. Peace and blessings.